Hey everyone, this is Sean Alexander with Alexander and Sons Decks. A lot of people don't know that we got our start as a company who built custom picnic tables. So today that's what we're doing. We're building two six foot picnic tables for a couple of clients who requested them. The first step in this job is to cut all of your tabletop pieces and bench pieces to six feet exactly. Then I go ahead and dog ear the outer edges of the bench seats. Uh, when you're doing repeated cuts like this on a project, uh, it's a good idea to make a small pencil mark on your saw. That way you can repeat the cut over and over. I use a chamfer router bit to give the edges of my table a little bit of a design. Now I'm cutting and beveling the 2x4 ties that hold the tabletops together. Again, I'm using a pencil mark on my saw to repeat the cut over and over. The next step is to cut the bench supports and table legs. I've included a complete material list and cut list in the video description. The table legs are cut at a 25 degree angle and measure 30 and a quarter inch on a side. Now that most of the pieces are cut, it's time to start assembling. I build the tables upside down and then flip them over when it's time to put the benches on. I use 3 inch ring shank framing nails and I send them in at a slight angle, which makes it very unlikely that the boards will ever separate. Just use a screw to hold the bench supports in place until I can come back and install 3 8 inch carriage bolts.
Each of these 3 8 inch carriage bolts has a shear strength of several thousand pounds, so these tables are plenty sturdy. Time for the benches to go on. I'm pre-drilling with a countersink bit to give the exposed screw heads a cleaner look. Last step here is to cut the hole for the umbrella.